welcome to my cabin or should I say my dorm for the school year of 2022 to 2023. My name is Tara and I am at the Word of Life Bible Institute and I am moving in today. So I am a RA this year. Oh my goodness, a mosquito just went up my grandma. I came here a week early for training and now I am moving in my stuff into my cabin for the year, my dorm for the year. I have so much stuff. We'll see if it all fits. Let me give you a quick little rundown. First of all, right here is the mattress that I'm switching with that mattress. Well, this is the one that I already switched, so this is the one I think I want, but I'm going to test it out. Then I have, you know, all my crap and things just, like, everywhere. It's so much stuff. And that's the mattress that's going to go over there. Basically, I am an overpacker, and I moved really far away, and I've never moved before, so maybe I brought way too much stuff. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. We'll find out. But I am here for a full, like, 11 months like 11 and a half months so it's kind of justified but it's also this cabin has to fit four girls so i can't be taking up the whole room i'm gonna start figuring out where i want to do things i may or may not be rearranging furniture so um i'm just gonna try to go yeah we'll see what happens with this vlog <laughs> Hopefully this is a nice pack. This is only 12 bucks. That's really cool. That's nice. Ow. Ow. I think we're good. That's so gross. There's popcorn bags. This has been here for a while. Do you hear that beautiful noise? That means a storm is coming, I believe, and it's like the lightning warning. Oh my goodness, where did that come from? Wait. That was just sunny like 20 minutes ago. But then again, we're in Florida now. Wow. Cool. Well, that's so exciting. There has been like lightning thunder legit every day I've been here. So, fun fact. Moved to Florida, lots of lightning, lots of thunder, lots of rain. And very, very up. Yay, I finished something. Here is my bed. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do it with the pillows. That might end up on my chair, but that's where it's going for now. Thumbs up again. This is my moving process. I'm going to go help a friend. She needs help moving. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a car, so I'm going to let her use my car and we can move her stuff. Because she's in a cabin and she has to go like over to like the dorm rooms, which is like the other side of camp or campus. So, I will get back to this. It's already 3 o'clock though, so we'll see how much I can get done today. I look bald and wet. Um, that would be because it's raining, but I was glad I got to help my friend. I don't know if you can see... Yeah, it is raining very hard, so I am now nice and wet. It's okay though, I need a shower anyway. I'm gonna get back to work. It is now 3.36, so it took like half an hour. That's not too bad. All of this stuff, you can't really see all of it, but it's all like toiletry, get ready, hair, whatever, body, you know, stuff. And the goal is to fit most of it on this cart I have, so we'll see, we'll see. This is really hard trying to organize everything. I don't know what I'm doing. This is not good. Um, I'll come back when I have more of an idea. I set up this thing, and right now I'm just putting it like along this wall. We'll see what happens. Could end up over there. But I got like hair stuff, makeup, I don't know, jewelry, lots of hair and jewelry stuff. And then under here, I just put a bucket so I'm just a floor, but that's like all my like shower and like self or like skincare. I don't know. I might have to readjust things once the other girls actually get here because they're gonna be. Four girls on this side and four girls on that side, and I don't know how that's really gonna play out. This is all very new to me, you could not tell. But here's my bathroom. There's the other door, and we have some closet space, shower, handicapped, two more stalls, then we got three sinks, and then two more showers. And this big door. I'm gonna get like black paper to cover this so the light doesn't go through. And then this is my room. I am starting to put my stuff in my desk because a lot of the stuff in my underbed buckets are going to go in my desk, I think, so then I can hopefully put other things in my underbed buckets or like put them on my bag or them. I don't usually cry at all, but wow is it always close? Okay, I've made a little bit of progress, so I will show you that, but then I'm heading out to dinner. We are going on a Walmart run tonight, but my assumption is I'll have dinner, come back, do some more work, and then go to Walmart. Here's my desk. Okay, so I put that there and that there, and then I got like my Bible Devo stuff, computer, like this. It's pretty clean. And then in the drawer, 
I'm trying to put like the everyday things so those will get used, you know, stuff like that, first aid kit. This one is kind of like, I don't know, this whole thing is like paper and notebooks and stuff like that. Don't look at my bed. And then all that. But something is better than nothing. There you go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the newbie vloggers. <laughs> <laughs> How do you shut it off? I don't know. <laughs> cool. Any other scene to make up people in my dreams. This is gonna be so cool. It's a lava lamp. I've always wanted one of these. Last time if I recall. Okay, so it has to run for a couple of hours for it to really start doing the thing like melting the wax and moving like a normal lava lamp. But I think that's gonna be really cool. Let's turn off this light. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's not quite bright enough to do homework, but I think it's better than the desk lamp I had. So I'm gonna return this thing because I didn't like it. it was too bright. Yay, I'm almost out of my room. Hey, okay, so I finished my room. Let me show you. Well, I finished it for now. Might end up changing things, but this is where we're at. So this is my corner. Pretty cute. Oh, technically I have to put it this way. But we got some decor over here. This is going to go in my car. I still have to hang it up again. And all my drawers are filled with clothes. Up here I have books. Clean it. This is like extra beauty stuff. This is like refill beauty stuff and like nails. Um, This is some... Um, I don't know, supplies. And this is like cleaning stuff. Then up here is like my food, kitchen, Bible devos. I have like a bunch of stuff plugged in. Computer, my lava lamp, clock, pens, and then like drawers and stuff. Down here, got a bucket with some things, and then there's some stuff under the bed, as well as these two nice underbed buckets. Then my bed, which I was sitting there, so there's kind of a hole. My rug, and then all my shoes right down there. I do have a couple of things that are up here right now because I might only have three people on this side of the room instead of four. So we might, like me and the girls might be able to like, share some storage up here. So hopefully I can figure that out tomorrow once all the other girls are here. So I am excited for everybody to come. I am nervous. I, I don't know, there's just gonna be so many people coming in tomorrow. It's probably gonna be a long day, but I'm gonna go to bed. I have to be up early tomorrow morning. <gasps> I have to be up early tomorrow morning because I'm working in the kitchen. So I have to be in the kitchen at 6 a.m., which means I have to wait about 5.30. So, yeah. I'm gonna go to bed. This is my moving in to my dorm room video. Thank you for coming along, and I will definitely be back with another cool Weird of Life Bible Institute vlog in the future. Bye!